But anyway, you know, Shakespeare, the whole, uh, <laughs> he's, uh, he's basically educating the public, and, you know, th that's the thing, it's like, uh, the, you know, the kings always control the Catholic Church, you know, in their respect of these different nations. You know, each nation under a king had their own slight variation of the of the Bible and how, you know, Catholicism worked. You know, and they realized, you know, there was a, a one guy, the Pope. The Pope, you know, wanted to live, you know, the Pope was devalued, was supposed to be represented as a devout religious, you know, group, but it became a, you know, an election in some cases and this and that, but that's a whole other story. In fact, the whole, yeah, well, anyway, that's about the Catholic thing. But, uh, but yeah, so you got, you know, you got some peasants in Japan that were going to want to get, they want to step up. They want more knowledge, you know, and they're going to be curious. They're going to want to, they're going to ask questions, basically. You know, and so how do you, as the ruler, control people who ask questions? And in some cases, they could stir up trouble. They could say, like, why do we have a king? I didn't elect you. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I didn't choose you to be the king. I, you know, I don't believe that this or that. And so they allow religion. And the religion basically says, God picked this guy to be the ruler. And in the case of Japan, God, you know, I am the son of God. You know, I, you know, I, you know, I, I willed you to be here, is, is kind of the idea. You know, you exist to serve me. Is this like, you know, the, this underlying idea of the, the Japanese. You know, or like, it, I think that it was. And that was kind of part of the Bushido and part of the Shintoism as well. You know, and it's just kind of, you know, and, and Shintoism is also like a very pacifist religion. When you think of it, it's very like, you know, it's regimented, regimentation of lifestyle, which you need in Japan in order to control your, your resources. Because you can't have American society in Japan because it's, the resources are just, and that's why you got, you know, toxicity problems. It, you, you have to clean up yours, you know. You, you know, you can only make a mess as big as you can clean up. And that's what the Japanese realize. And that's why they clean their society. American society, we need to realize that. You know, the Europeans, they fucking realize that. Europeans realize, you know, you can only make so much of a mess, you, but you have to clean it up. You know, you can't, you can't have people living in fucking filth. You know, and you can't have them these just fucking, you know, in dirty spots. So, um, you know, the graffiti problem. You know, yeah, they got graffiti, but it's not, it's, it's not too much of a concern. But it's a, it's a rubbish. You know, because rubbish. Uh, and stuff leads to rats. Rats lead to plagues. You know, plagues have plagued you know, uh, you know, the Europe Europeans for a long time. You know, so they realized, well, yeah, we need to fucking clean up our cities, and that's why they keep their cities clean now. You know, like even Paris and stuff like that. It's like, look, you know, we don't want any rats taking you know taking us out again. 